Hello, my name is Colin Miner, and I did my presentation on the game Badminton in PE class. So the objective for the sixth grade class is to learn all of the different shots that are used during the game of Badminton. So the equipment that will be needed, there will be a net that will be 1.55 meters tall, a court that is 13.4 meters long, width is 6.1 meters, and then you're going to need a racket and a shuttle to play badminton. The rules, the shuttle can only be hit on one time per side. The shuttle must stay within the boundaries. There's no double hits, and serves must be diagonal and serves must switch from partner to partner if you are playing doubles. The objective, the objective of badminton is to hit the shuttle over the net without letting it hit your side, but at the same time, you're trying to get the shuttle to hit the ground on the other team's side to win the point. Whoever serving and they win the point, then they get the point, but you must be serving to get points. Rally scoring is used during badminton, and games usually go to 11, but they can be played to 21 as well. So there are six types of shots using in the game of badminton that we're going to learn today. The first shot is the defensive clear. So this is where you're trying to get the shuttle as high as you can in the air on the other team's side, just to kind of give yourself some time to regain positioning or whatnot. The next shot is the attack clear. So this is one where you're going to hit it hard and you're going to try and hit it to the back end of the court. The third is the drive, and that's just a straight line drive hit at the other, at your opponent. But you're trying to hit a corner or a side where you can drive that or the, the shuttle. The next shot is the smash, and this is where you hit the birdie diagonally down towards a side or a corner at your opponent, trying to make them be in a tough spot to hit this shuttle back. The fifth shot is the drop shot, and this is where you act like you're going to hit it really hard, but then you just lightly hit the shuttle so it just drops in over the net. And then finally is the net drop, where you hit it barely over the net and really soft, so then it just falls right parallel with the net. It's very hard to return that shot, and in my opinion, I feel like the net drop hit is the best hit that can be one of the hardest hits to return. Safety for badminton. One is try not to hit your teammate. I mean, when you're playing doubles, just have spatial awareness. See what's going on. Use your peripheral vision and know where your teammate is. Another thing is to keep a firm grip on the racket, so when you swing, you don't let go of the racket. And the third thing is to wear well-supported shoes because during the game of badminton, you're going to be cutting and uh, planting, and you're going to need to have shoes that are well-supported to so you can be agile during the game. So things that we're going to try and accomplish during this game of badminton is, one, we're going to try and to have the students learn all of the different shots, and then we're going to try and get them to be physically active, get some physical exercise in, Learn coordination, hand-eye coordination, and eye coordination so you can see yourself hitting the birdie and then hitting the shuttle, I should say, and hitting it over the net. And then teamwork skills, communication with your partner. If you're playing sides, like you, you say, you got this side, I got this side, and you just communicate. Some side games that can be played is king and queen court. So if you're just doing doubles and or singles, if you win, you move up the court move up courts, and if you lose, you go back a court, and you just have to continually win to get to the king's court. Um, you can work on all of the different shots when you're volleying with your partner, so you can work on hitting it to a side, or just work on all the shots with a partner. And then another thing is serving diagonal with a partner. So some review questions. Um, when serving, do you have to serve diagonally, true or false? And the next question, the shuttle can be hit more than once on each side, true or false. And that's the end of my PowerPoint. I hope everybody had a great Easter, and I hope everybody's staying safe due to this virus, and everybody be safe.